Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick demo of the Keen Vision Pediatric A Blade. So we've got the video monitor here, and the video monitor, to turn it on, it's just the button on the back, and this just slips in to the A Blade, locks into place, and you're ready to go. The A Blades come in two different sizes to use with the Pediatric Video Monitor. So you've got a size 1, which this one is, and that's for children less than 3 years of age. They also have a size 2 blade, which is for children between 1 and 10 years of age. The size 1 blade only comes in a non-channeled option, whereas the size 2 blade, you have the option of a channeled, which is this one, and on-channeled blade. Um, the reason for that is you've got a hyperangulated video laryngoscope, so you need some way to help you get the tube to the cords. So either you need a stylated tube or you need a channel. So for children less than one, you use the non-channel type and above one year of age, you have the option of a channeled or non-channeled blade. There is a bigger version of this video adapter that you can use with size three blade. So for children greater than 10 years of age. There's also an option to output the display onto a computer or a large screen, so you can view it on the large screen or if you want to record your footage, because there's no ability to record footage directly on the monitor itself. So to do that, you take this little cap off the side, and they have their own video output cable. So it just plugs into here. Um, so this is what you've got at the end of the cable, so you need some way of being able to plug this into your computer or monitor. So I find the easiest way was to use a video capture device. So this just plugs in here, and then what you do is you plug this into the USB port on your computer. So we just plug into here. Now, I'm using a Mac, so you would have to use some similar software on your computer, but on a Mac, the easiest way to do this is to go to QuickTime Player and go to File, New Movie Recording. And there we go. So we've now got footage mirrored onto a big screen. To record on this, it's just hit the record button and then you can record um, you're doing the intubation and again hit record to finish. Um, if you're using a PC, there's probably similar software that you can use. Um, so I want to show you this then on the mannequins. I want to give you a quick run through how to actually use this. So we've got the Keen Vision um, loaded up with a size 1 paediatric A blade. Um, and it's very straightforward to use. We've got a stylated endotracheal tube. So we just drop this into the mouth, put the tip in the vallecula, and drop the stylated tube in through the cores. And I've got lovely control over this. We can also use this like a Miller blade. So if I go in and try and lift the epiglottis, and then drop the endotracheal tube in. Um, and although they recommend you do use a stylet in this, it is still possible to use without a stylet. You see, I don't have any difficulty doing the intubation here, or if I go into the molecular here. So I've got a lot of control over this. Um, and it's one of the nice things, even though it is a hyperangulated um, blade, normally one of the difficulties you have with a hyperangulated blade is actually getting tube to cords. But like I say, with this keen vision, it doesn't seem to be a problem. Um, so much so that I can use this tube without a stylet and there's no difficulty passing it. Um, again, nasal intubation is fairly straightforward with this as well. So we drop the tube down the back of the nose. Reach in, grab hold of the tube, and lift it up and pass it through the cords. And again, I have no difficulty with that. Um, with some of the other hyperangulated blades, it can be quite difficult to do this and you have to split it up into two movements. Um, but I have no problem with this. I, I can actually, I don't have to alter my view. I've got the view at the back of the throat. Reach in, pick up the tube, and I can do it all with the one view. 
So I'll show you this now in a slightly bigger patient. Okay, so this time round I've got the Keen Vision loaded into a size 2 A blade. It's the on channel type. So if I drop this into the mouth, view and drop the tube. And I'll show you then the channel blade as well. You can either put it into the tracker to preload it or load it afterwards. So I go around the corner, 